Hey there, in this session we are going to learn about the clustering. Clustering is a technique to classify the data in the data set into the different group based on the similar features. A similar example of this is grouping the document by topic. There are various algorithms available for this, such as k-mean clustering, density method, grid-based method, hierarchical-based method, etc. We are going to use the k-means algorithm in this session. This is commonly used in the medical, social network, marketing, and banking. In the k-means algorithm, feature will be divided into the k number of predefined non-overlapping cluster, means groups. This method is easy, fast, and accurate, but does not provide the consistency. For this session, we will use this dataset. It contains the 3000 most popular YouTube video statistics. It includes the video category ID, number of view, likes, dislike, and comment. We will group the data based on the number of likes, dislike, comment, and view. Let's switch to the Visual Studio. Here I have created the folder for the session 42. Added the train data set that we have seen. Created the input model. Based on that, I have loaded the for required column only as we do not require video ID and category ID. And in the result model, we have predicted label and score. I also inherited it from the input model. In the demo class, create the instance of the ML context and load the data from the CSV file as well as split the data set. Let's create a pipeline. First of all, we need to create the concatenate view like dislike and comment after this we need to add the trainer for this clustering trainers for the k-means and pass the option for that number of cluster is the most important property using this we can specify the number of groups to be created we have 3000 data, so let me create the 100 cluster and specify the feature column name. Let's create a model for this pipeline. Transform the ATS data set for evolution. And evaluate it. Print the average distance from the result. Create a prediction engine from the model. I have already created two examples for performing the prediction. So let me paste it. Also paste the helper method. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. Here we got the valid large value for the model. Good models should have the value near to zero. So our model is the fresh because we have not specified any additional hyperparameter as well as the other data set contains those kind of data. Here we got the prediction for the first input. Score contains the possibility to put this record in a particular cluster. So this record will be put into the cluster with the lowest score. And the same also apply for the second example. Let's see what we learn in this session. Using the clustering, we can classify the data into the group. K-means is a popular algorithm for this. We need to specify the number of groups to be created. Here is the example that we have created. In the pipeline, we have concatenated all of the columns to feature. 
then append the trainer for the key means specify the number of cluster and a feature column name using that we have created the model and evaluate the model and later created the prediction engine for performing the prediction on it see you in the next session